Hey guys, sorry for my scruffy hair. I just look scruffy, guys. It is what it is, okay? Today I want to talk about jealousy, envy, and hatred. These emotions, while so negative and dark, are the same emotions that humans have felt for the vast majority of our existence. Even in our monkey days, when we were monkeys, but before we were homo sapiens, when we were near Nathaniel. Were we Nathaniel? Nathaniel? Nathan Nathan Na Nathaniel's. What was the Nathaniel? Nathaniel. That's Nathaniel. Near Nathaniel. What the fuck? What became? Okay, no, no. What was before Homo sapien? According to National Geographic Society. Learn how early humans evolved from Homo habilis, to Homo erectus, to Homo sapiens and developed basic survival tools. Yeah, back when we were Homo habilis and Homo erectus, totally know what I'm saying. I mean, <clears throat> what I meant to say was, it doesn't matter how much time passes and fades, right? The, our negative emotions still retain the same level of negativity. Our negative emotions are still the same. We still feel lonely. We still feel jealous. We still feel envious. We still feel hate hateful. This is why there's so many hate comments on the internet. Behind every hate comment, it's either a bot or a real person. And it's usually a real person who's venting their hatred and loneliness and sadness and jealousy and en envy on in, in their comments. So I think holding on to and understanding these emotions are incredibly important. neighbors anyways i think holding on to and understanding these emotions are incredibly incredibly important especially if you want to be successful you have to, how do i say that successful successful because if you want to be successful i think that controlling your emotions and understanding them is the not necessarily the beginning peak i was not necessarily the peak but i think it's the beginning and it's like a, it's also the beginning but also concurrent throughout your journey and to the destination that you want to get to uh, in, uh, in success because you have to be calm cool collected and control your emotions right because if you want to be successful there's gonna be some level of stress associated with that success you can't just have unless you're incredibly lucky because life isn't fair there's of, always nepo babies there's always nepotism right but you're not probably you're probably not one of those nepo babies and if you aren't then <laughs> i'm not one of mine so <laughs> we're, we're, we're both fucked i'm joking we're not fucked right there's gonna be it's gonna be a very very long arduous rocky stressful road People have taken this path, taken this path before, so we have the advantages there. None of us are really special in that sense. But at some point, all these people that were broke at one time, you always hear, right? Oh, I was poor. I was living in the hood. Then I did this, did that, make myself an entrepreneur, entrepreneur business journey, and now I'm rich as hell. This, this story, these stories come in shameless quantities, and I say shameless quantities because there is so goddamn many of them. It leads me to believe that money is genuinely infinite. Money is infinite. Now, the only thing that is finite is time and what resources like metal. But even then, we won't run out until like 2050, 2100, right? The, the thing that is most finite, our most valuable and finite resource is time. There's nothing more valuable because when we're born, we're effectively, effectively eligible, eligible to die. <laughs> I don't know, I messed that up. I'm messing my words all over the place. <laughs> Since from the moment we're born, we're eligible to die. From the moment we exist, we come out of our own mothers, we are literally eligible to die. Our gas tank is filled up once and never filled up again. You can delay it here and there. You can look like you're delaying it with plastic surgery, but it doesn't end well. You've seen Madonna. Madonna, what a fall from glory. What a fall from grace. You've seen those people, women, crazy women who take a bunch of plastic surgery. Those, those are real people, by the way, with a lot of money, but no time. Okay, so money is infinite. What was it again? 80% of America's um, current cash in circulation was printed out in the last 10, no, five years. 80%. They've printed out trillions in the last five years. Money is infinite. Time is not. So that's shifting your paradigm. And back to the main topic of the video, I think that you should be jealous. Especially if people that are richer than you. You should be envious. Especially if people that are richer than you. Especially if people that have better lives than you. Especially if those Nepo babies. Fuck those Nepo babies. Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian. She was connected, she was well connected to a family of lawyers. And other thing. 
doctors and accountants way before uh, way before she uh, the advent of her you know everyone knows how she got famous the advent of her fame every one of these uh, ultra rich young people have connections that you don't and you should be pissed because if you're pissed you might actually do something about it anger is one of those emotions where it's so heavily shunned upon in today's society however it is so important towards changing your life because if you're not angry at your life situation and you just stay in the exact place same exact place say same exact school school uh, what is it what is it high school college uni job and you're just complacent and you're happy and you just don't care cool fine cool fine it's my timer I need to go meditate on this. Um, I'll finish this up quickly. If you're happy and complacent, you don't have any of these negative emotions that humans have felt have felt for the dawn since the dawn of time. By the way, since the dawn of our creation as humans. All right, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with these emotions. Of course, if you do something wrong with these emotions, if these emotions charge something, you do something wrong, then that's wrong. But if you just keep these emotions inside of you, pent up, and you use them towards something positive, like entrepreneurship, business, success, fitness mental health, you, you channel things in, in the right way, it is going to be positive. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can turn to neg the negative into a positive, and easily the positive into negative, because if you're just happy and complacent in a shitty position, and, but you kind of know it's a shitty position, but you're kind of just complacent, in it, which is the majority of people, by the way, because the majority of people don't even, don't even choose the right career. The majority of people don't even choose the right career. The majority of people get a midlife crisis by 30 or 40. That's not even midlife. Midlife is 50 these days. Or 40 or 45 like midlife. Because the average life expectancy is 80, right? People die much sooner than that because, well, <laughs> stress. And stress are the wrong thing. Stress is one of those things where if you stress over like your business and you, you need to hit sales margin and you have to, you have to satisfy the, the shareholders and you've got to do this, you've got to do that because they want to make a profit and you want to make a profit. And da, 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 da. Okay, that's a bit of a good stress because you're making a bunch of money, right? There's a monetary, how do I say this, a monetary reward for your, oh, on, I washed my hair yesterday, I don't know what the fuck happened there, there's a monetary reward for your suffering, but if you're just living in like some minimum wage job, which I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to do that for a while, <sighs> sucks, but you know, it's mouth in pain, I will. I'll pretend it's okay, it's not okay, Okay. If you suffer for a minimum job and you're complacent with it, that's the fucking issue. You shouldn't be complacent. It's fucked. Money is the end all be all for this shit. Of course, money is not everything because if you buy a bunch of shit, you will not be happy. Which is why I've seen a lot of people like they think they think becoming rich is bad and they hate rich people subsequently, which is absolutely incorrect, absolutely and utterly incorrect. Because if you hate rich people, you can never become a rich person. And if you, I'm talking about fiscal rich by the way not like rich like oh my life is rich and i get to see my friends and family bro you can be rich and have like 50 million pounds in the bank accounts or 50 million pounds in assets paying you five million pounds per year and what what is that forty thousand pounds four thousand is it four thousand a three four hundred thousand four hundred thousand pounds uh, a month you're getting paid that much you're four hundred thousand times twelve four point eight yeah that's right that's right math is correct get paid 400k a month and you can live a wonderful life you, your house is paid off in cash you've got a beautiful car rolls royce mclaren whatever luxury car you like or maybe you like a, a humble prius i don't mind a prius it is a, a car the car i guess you to point a to point b right the, the only reason you get like a luxury car is to flex that's it <laughs> to flex because the moment you get that nice item it just becomes one of the, another nice item you have you know what i'm saying Anyways, that's a separate video, separate argument, separate. I need to delve into that topic later. You can be you, you can be rich and you can have your family. You could have four hundred thousand pounds cash flow income coming in, and that's an insane amount of money, by the way, with four point eight million per year. You could have your house paid off. You could have a nice, beautiful house with a garden, with a balcony, with a fucking three floors, with a basement. So it's like four floors in total, with a, maybe the roof as well. That's five floors. Bro, you you could have all of that and have your friends and family around you. You could have dinners or. Uh, on a weekly basis, see everyone, and everyone's healthy, everyone's happy, you exercise regularly, you're in great shape, it, this life is possible, because life is not fair, alright, that, that, that kind of doesn't make sense, right, uh, what, what I mean by that, you, but you know that image, of that kid inside the apartment building, playing with Lego bricks and toys, and the kid outside, who's like helping his dad, he's a little baby, by the way, he's a little baby, I can, I can find this, I can find this, life is not 
is not fair baby baby diagram not diagram um And I see it's a stupid image anyway. And if, you, if you've seen this image, then I can, uh, then you understand what I'm saying. But this, I'll explain the image for you. There's a baby inside an apartment, a luxury apartment, right? Who's playing with toys with his dad, right? And and then there's a baby outside with a guy outside. There's a guy outside with his child, and the child is helping him um, lay bricks on the wall or design the redesign the wall on the luxury building. And the baby is peering inside onto the other baby who's playing with the, uh, the Lego bricks, having the time of his fucking life with his dad. Or him, him and his dad are laying bricks outside, suffering, right? Life is not fair. You understand me? Somewhere, somehow, it's in some part of the world, someone who's the same age as you is living an infinitely better life than you. All right? And you should be fucking dead jealous of this. Because if you're jealous, if you're envious, and if you're hateful, but you're hateful... As in, I don't hate you for your rich. I understand your rich, and I want to. I want to become that level of rich. And I'm jealous. I'm not. I don't have that level of rich. And I'm envious. I don't have that level of rich. What can I do? Because I hate my current situation. All right. If I hate you, it's a game over. Right. If I hate you for having that position, it's game over. But if I hate myself and my situation for not having that position, that's different. All right, guys. Then it'll be better because then you have a slight chance, five percent or whatever, a slight chance of actually improving your fucking life. Jealousy, hatred, envy, sadness, disgust, all these emotions are actually positive. Because without these emotions, you wouldn't have known you, 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 you wouldn't have known how to be happy. You know what I'm saying? There's no yin without yang. Without sadness, you can't be happy. There is no parallel. There is there is none of that. It's like when people ask, why did God put evil people on earth? Or why does God allow evil stuff? Because even if God's real, I don't necessarily... I believe in the idea of, of the existence of God, but I don't necessarily believe in the idea of conforming to religion. But I believe God's probably fine. God's most likely real. Most likely, in my opinion. Anyway, that's just my opinion, by the way. You're free to... You're entitled to your own opinion. I'm not going to debate you on that topic. That's like an hour-long topic. <laughs> Why does God allow evil? Because without evil, you wouldn't even know what's good. Because everything would just be normal. Because that's how humans are. That's how all living beings are. It's the way it is. How would you be? How would you be grateful if there's nothing to be grateful for? You wouldn't. Okay, guys. Listen. Retain your jealousy. Retain your emotions. Retain all of them, but put them towards a positive thing that will get you out of that situation and put you into position where you don't know you don't have those emotions any longer. If you're constantly in the hunt or in the game, if you enjoy the game, then fair enough, right? But at me, at some point, I have to retire. Like I want to relax. I want to enjoy. It. But at some point, if I get hungry again, I will go back into the hunt, go back in the grind. But I believe, like, if I make a substantial amount of income, I'm talking about the multi-millions here, million, 10 million, I will take a break for about a year, just clear my mind, fully relax. I want to know what it's like to relax. I, have, I haven't relaxed in a while, you know? It's weird to say, but I have not relaxed in a while. I feel very tense all the time. I'll take the time, I'll take the time. I'll recommend it for anyone else watching this video, if you make a, a substantial amount of income, substantial amount of money. Payroll tax, whatever. Take the time to relax. Learn how to relax. Learn the art of taking things easy. All right, and it's hard. It's hard to say because those emotions, stress, anger, blah, 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 they got you to that position in the first place, and it's kind of like weird. Oh, but now Jimmy, you're being a hypocrite because you told me to be stressful and angry and jealous to get to the position. I'm not in position. I, st I still want to be stressful. Blah, blah, blah. Guys, you only live one life. You know that. The stress was there because you weren't in a good position in life. Now you're in the good position. Take the time to be grateful and relax and enjoy the simpler things in life. And the simple things might be drinking tea with your family and not worrying about the money, or the, uh, about bills coming up, about food shopping coming up, about about anything, about my fiscal related. I hate money, but I love money. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Like I hate money because I don't have enough of it, but I don't hate people with money. And I love money because money is one of those things where everyone believes in money. Everyone has a common belief in money. Everyone believes in the system of money. Therefore, it has value. Money is something you can trust, but you can't trust. You know, because depreciation, I said, guys, next, another video. Keep on to your emotions. Stay hard. Sanara.